Think Tech Away. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha, and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 from the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu in the Pioneer Plaza. These days, the rain has stopped, and we've got some beautiful sunshine out there, and, and so I'm going to try to go through the show really quick so I can get outside and enjoy the sun. Um, we've got a, a really special guest here today, somebody I've been trying to get on the show for, I, I'm going to say, over a year, <laughs> and we finally were able to make it happen. Uh, he's a very busy guy, and you'll find out more about that shortly, uh, but his name is Tyler uh, Kimura. I think I said that right. Rakama. 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 But I, close. But I answered him just back. <laughs> Rakama. Uh, Rakama. Um, but he's the uh, owner and the manager, the general manager for the Outback Steakhouse in Hawaii Kai, which I have seen for many years uh, since I live in Hawaii Kai. Uh, and we have a lot of events and, and dinners and lunches out there. So he's a familiar face. Um, Tyler, welcome to the show. Thank you very uh, much. I'm glad we finally got yes. this done. Thanks, uh, thanks for the opportunity yeah. to be here today. I well, appreciate it. You're a very busy guy. You've got a lot of things going on. But before we jump into sure. all that, um, why don't you give us a little bit of background on yourself? I mean, how long have you been in Hawaii? Sure. And, and where did you go to school? Everybody wants to know where you go to high school. OK. Um, well, I've been with Outback Steakhouse now for 20 years and 11 days. 20 uh, years? And 11 days. So, so you started when you were, what, six or seven? I, uh, I'll take that as long <laughs> as I possibly can. Um, that's for sure. I started off when I was uh, 16 and in high school. Um, and it was really the first job that I ever had. Uh, started off as a busboy dishwasher and worked my way up. Wow. Um, started managing, uh, being an hourly manager when I was 18 years old with Outback Steakhouse. Um, was this here locally? Or no, um, or? I started in Texas, uh, moved around to a couple Outbacks in Texas. Um, Texas, I can't think of a better place for a steakhouse. I mean, Texas. if you're going to have a steakhouse, <laughs> Texas is the place to be, that's for sure. So, um, spent about 10 years um, um, working at Outback Steakhouses there. I've uh, been here in Hawaii. Um, now for about the same amount of time. Um, my wife is born and raised here in Waikai. I'm Michelle. Um, and so she drug me kicking and screaming all the way to, uh, to Hawaii, and I've, I've loved every second of it. Oh, so, good. Was, yeah. was Outback able to, to transfer you over here? They or? were. I came over here knowing full well that I was going to have a job waiting for me, that I was going to manage, and, uh, and shortly thereafter take over as an owner of an Outback Steakhouse here. Very um, good. And so it's been uh, probably the best decision that I ever made, and, um, and I just enjoy it every day. Very good. It's it's uh, and you've got a very beautiful location out there in Hawaii. Kai. I do. I uh, I would put our location up against anybody else's out there. That's right. Nice. It's uh, right there on the ocean, right there on the water. We get to enjoy the sunsets right. every day view. when it's not raining. That's um, right. Yeah. Well, enjoy it while you can. Exactly. Uh, but you've got uh, you know right across the street, you got that big ocean. You've got uh, you know a nice Mauna Loa Bay. But Hawaii Kai is also a nice community too. It really it's, is. It's a good community to live in. I, I couldn't think of a better place to have a restaurant. Really, truly, um, the the people that come in. Are restaurant are just fantastic. A um, little backstory is um, you know, 10 years ago when I came here and had the opportunity to take over an Outback, I was actually offered either the one in Waikiki or the one in Hawaii Kai, um, right around the same time, and it was a pretty easy decision for me. Uh, the one in Hawaii Kai, obviously, with my wife being born and raised there, mm -hmm. um, made it an obvious choice, and you know, having a chance to get to know the people and really having a business that's supported by all the local uh, people just makes all the world a difference. Sure, and well, I would imagine that maybe the clientele a little bit different in Waikiki compared to Waikiki. I mean, there's a lot of local business Absolutely. that comes in. Absolutely, I, I always often equate it to 95, 97% of the people that come in that restaurant are local population, yeah. which is really special for me because I get a chance to, to really develop those relationships and get a chance to know them. And, Pick up conversations where we left off last week, uh, you know, the, this week when they came in again. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and then plus you have uh, your neighborhood, you've mm -hmm. got your neighbors and your friends. And Absolutely. I guess if your children go to school out there, mm -hmm. you know, you've they got, do indeed. there's a whole network of... of Absolutely. It, it's, it's a special place to, to live, a special place to, to have a family. Um, hi again to, uh, to my daughters, Alexis and Madison. Um, just, but a great place to, to really have a business and be able to support a community. Because uh, that's one of the, my favorite things about my job is being also able to give back to the community and help support the community and help raise money for the different schools and organizations that are out there in Hawaii. Kai. Yeah, well, you act, uh, definitely become an active member of the community when you're out there. Um, but uh, that, that particular location has done very well for Outback in, in general, hasn't it? It, it has. Uh, so a little backstory is I took over the restaurant probably about the worst time you could take over a restaurant. Um, you know, 2008, uh, not the best time to start a, start a new business. Um, but we learned a lot, and we learned a lot of things very quickly. Um, first year, probably a little rough. 
a uh, little bumps and bruises mm -hmm. along the way, a lot of learning uh, went into that. But uh, for the last several years now, we've really enjoyed uh, some great things, um, have done some really great things. Uh, and have really helped to grow a successful business. Well, it's nice to start with something that's kind of at the bottom mm -hmm. because there's really, hopefully, only one direction to go from there. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. And um, but I have to give credit where credit's due. Uh, and if you'll allow me a second just to, to plug my staff. Please is, do. You know, mm -hmm. my, uh, my staff is you know, some of the best in the industry, and I just couldn't be more proud of what we do day in and day out. So thank you uh, to all of you for all of that you do. I really appreciate it. You know, I've gone to um, I've gone to dinner there, and I've also gone to events there. And I got to tell you that uh, the, the staff that I've interacted with have been always very good at what sure. they do. You know, um, they're fantastic. Yeah, so it's a good team that you've got there. Thank so you. you're a very lucky man. They make my job easy. They they do. I would <laughs> imagine. Um, so what's, uh, you know, there's how many other state backs, uh, outbacks in the state? Uh, we have six total. Uh, so we have four outback steakhouses here on Oahu. Uh, we have one in Waikiki, Waipio, and Kapolei. We also have one in Maui, uh, in Kihei, and then one in, uh, in Kona as well on the Bay. Very good. Yeah. So you're not alone. We're not alone. You got some company. And it's, it's important, uh, and I think it's, it, it's great to have those other restaurants here because uh, there's a, a, a partnership between all of us. Uh, we get together all the time, we talk about menus, we talk about marketing, we talk about the industry and as a whole, and we also support one another. Mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. know, if, uh, if I need something, they, uh, they might have it. If they need something, I probably have it. And um, we just share ideas and uh, share best practices, and it's a great deal. Now, are these, and, and yours particularly, um, are they you know, a franchise or are they owned by you? That's, or, a, that's or a great question. That? So uh, it's actually a partnership. So I'm part owner and Outback's part owner, okay, uh, right. which I think is a really great and unique business model that Outback created. But it gives me a little bit more of an interest in, in what it is oh, that we cool. do. Having some skin in the game Absolutely. is always nice. And you have to uh, write a check uh, you know, to take over a restaurant. It, uh, it obviously makes you uh, work a little bit harder. And Very good. But they, they still provide some support. I Absolutely. mean, Outback's a huge organization. Huge. I mean, they've got to have some good content contracts and, and good supply chain and, and things Absolutely. like this. So, yeah, they take a lot of the guesswork out of it uh, and the support systems that we have are just fantastic. We have, I think, 700 Outbacks in the, in the United States now, wow. uh, which is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, and the, you know, the, the supply chains that we have, like you said, are, are fantastic. We bring in uh, a lot of our uh, products uh, you know, from the mainland and to be able to, to do that, obviously there has to be some good systems in place. It does. It certainly helps. Now, Absolutely. That, you raise an interesting point. Mm -hmm. um, what are the challenges here in Hawaii, sure. say, as compared to if you had a store in California, mm -hmm. as compared to Hawaii? I mean, there's other obviously shipping mm -hmm. issues that, that have to be addressed. And, and I think that that's probably the, one of the biggest ones that we, that we experience on a regular basis is that shipping component. Uh, it is very challenging uh, to, to order correctly, to um, mm -hmm. you know, bring the product in. Uh, on the mainland, you're ordering. You get the product two or three days later. Um, you know that's how mm -hmm. you know that's how great the supply chains are here. We order, and I get it two weeks from now. Um, hmm. You know, making sure that there's no storms and uh, no other uh, contributing factors, right. which can happen. Um, so the ordering is a is a bit of a challenge. Um, the other uh, the other piece of that I think is the uh, other challenging is just just staffing uh, from time to time. Uh, I'm very fortunate again with the staff that I have um, working uh, working with me. Um, but I think just staffing in general here in the state with the unemployment the way that it is, it makes it a little bit challenging from time to time. Yeah. When you've got low single digit unemployment, yes. it makes it tough. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I know you, we've already talked about how mm -hmm. great your staff is, uh, but one of the other challenges that I have heard mm -hmm. uh, is that it's hard to get good quality staff. <clears throat> how, do you, how do you get so lucky to find all these good people? <clears throat> I really think it's, it's about the core of people that have been there for a long time, uh, first and foremost. Um, second is I think it's the culture that we have in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the privilege of working for probably 10 different Outback Steakhouses. And so I've taken some goods, I've taken some bads, and we've kind of put together what we really think is a, is a great Outback Steakhouse in Hawaii Kai. Um, you know, but the expectation uh, to work at my restaurant is it, it's got to be perfect. From a service standpoint, it's got to be perfect. Um, and I think that people respect that, understand that, and want to be part of something that's bigger than themselves. And you know, once we get those those great ones in there, wrap my arms around them as much as I possibly can, and try to truly, truly try to make it not just a job, but I want it to be a place that they really want to be part of. And if it's not a job, and it's a place where you can see your family, your friends, make some money, share some laughs. Um, I really think that we win, uh, and that's how we kind of, that's how we wins. create that magic. Oh, yeah, that's the, how we the, the that customers magic. win, the employees Absolutely. win, everybody ends up being Everybody winner. wins, and so, 
you know, the, we have very low turnover uh, at my restaurant. That's a good sign. Um, and I think it's because of that culture that we have in that environment where people want to be part of it. So. That's yeah. good. It's nice to get that type of engagement. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I'm just super blessed uh, to have the staff that I do, and they just they make my job enjoyable. Have you found that a lot of your employees come from East Oahu, or do they? <coughs> yeah, it, they a, kind a of different, dispersed around. A little bit of everything. Uh, there's several people that uh, that work and um, and and live in Hawaii. Kai. Um, I got people that uh, drive all the way from Milwaukee uh, wow. to, to work in my restaurant. That's and, yeah. dedication. And, and to me, that's a testament to what we do. Exactly. I mean, if you have to drive by two other Outback Steakhouses to get to my <laughs> Outback Steakhouse, um, you know, I think that really says something about what we do there. It does. It's a good testimonial. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the, uh, the, the the topics that we've always had on the show before is the. Uh, the training mm -hmm. and the continuous sure. training that has to take place. And do you have a formalized training program? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and um, that that has to be the cornerstone of everything that you do. I mean, that the training has to be there. Uh, truth be told, uh, ten years ago when I took over my uh, my Outback Steakhouse, I threw out the Outback training manual. Uh, it wasn't something that I that I liked. Did, did you tell uh, Outback about I, that? That might have been something that I uh, I played close to the chest a little bit, um, but I just I thought it could be better. Uh, I really did. I think that you have to invest in people. I think you have to invest time. You have to invest money, um, and you when you invest in that, you get great people out of it. And so it's probably 10 days of training uh, before you uh, really touch the floor. Wow. Um, we have a really fun uh, last day of training where you come in and we make every single item together with me. Um, kind of hard to watch uh, um, watch my weight when we're uh, making every <laughs> single item in the restaurant at one time. Uh, but we make every appetizer, every salad, every wow. dessert, entrees, everything. And we let them experience the food, try all the food. Mm -hmm. So that when a customer goes, you know, tell me about this, the reaction is, let me tell you about this. Alice Springs chicken is fantastic. Fantastic. Here are the ingredients that goes into that, and I think that people really uh, respect that and understand the, the passion that my servers have for what they do. But it's again, it's that investment, it's that time into them. No, and it's that passion. I mean, obviously, you have passion for doing this this mm -hmm. excellent job that you're doing, well, and, and that also that's contagious. <clears throat> A lot of people will sure. pick up on that and try to emulate it. So that's great. Well, we work hard at it. That's probably that's a message that I think everybody should sure. be receiving. Is that you know if if you want excellence, you got to act excellently. Mm -hmm. You know if you want something half-assed, and I agree. Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Well, very good. We're going to have to take a short break. Okay. Um, and we're going to come back, and, and you've got another hat that you wear as well. So, in addition, Small one. in addition, well, yeah, in addition to running one of the more successful outbacks in the state, if not the country, oh, you're very kind. Um, yeah, you also wear another hat, and, and that's uh, just a little teaser. So, we're going to go on break right now. We're going to be back in about 60 seconds and continue our conversation with Tyler, who owns the Huaikai Outback franchise. See you soon. Hi, my name is Bill Sharp, host of Asia in Review, coming to you from Honolulu, Hawaii, right here in the center of the Pacific Ocean. Asia in Review is the oldest of the 35 or so shows um, uh, broadcast by Think Tech Hawaii. We've been in production since 2009. Our goal is to provide you, the viewer, with information, breaking information about events in Asia, Asia being anything from Hawaii west to Pakistan, from the Russian uh, Far East, South to Australia and New Zealand. We hope to see you every Monday afternoon at 5 p.m. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner. And I'm Beatrice Gantemo. And we have come in this series, young and old alike, to take a look at our past, your past, and the fastest not seen history books. History books are his story. And what we refer to as mirrors of the past, but we as colonized people, indigenous peoples and people of color, look into the mirror and do not see ourselves there. On the ties that bind, we will examine those underlying causes. Please join us with the ties that bind on Wednesdays at noon, twice a month. We look for you there. Aloha, aloha. <music> Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here this week talking with Tyler Rakama about the Outback Steakhouse in Hawaii Kai, which uh, from what I understand and from my experience is probably one of the best in the country. Um, 
we're going to talk about another hat that he wears, uh, which he says is a small one. I, I think <laughs> maybe it's a little bit bigger than small. Uh, but tell us a little bit about the chairmanship that you're, okay. you're on. Sure. Um, currently, I'm the chairman of the board for the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Um, I've been with the Hawaii Restaurant Association for about four years now. Um, and got an opportunity to, uh, to join the executive team um, last year as the incoming chair. This year, I said, as the chairman of the board, and obviously next year, then I would be the outgoing chair. So you're lucky that this is only a one-year term. <clears throat> I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> I've, I've sat in some boards where it's a two-year term, right. and, and the second year is tough. <laughs> <laughs> But on. congratulations well, on thank that. Thank you. Thank you. We've got um, a great team. How many members are, are in the organization? So we have about 700 restaurants uh, that are part of the organization. Um, there's about, about 6,000 restaurants now statewide. Um, so, um, wow. It's quite a few. Uh, 3,500 is the number um, that we have for Oahu, and then uh, obviously tons of restaurants on the other neighboring islands as well. Um, so obviously, with 700 of the uh, you know, of the 6,000, we're always looking for more members and well, always looking for new members. I would imagine. Um, what? Well, let's talk about that for a second. Sure. I mean, 700 members. What is the value of becoming a member of the association? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think being part of the the association leads you to in a lot of different avenues. It's it's what do you want to get out of it, really? Um, there's opportunities to, to participate in um, mixers and networkers and mm -hmm. educational seminars, and I think there's a lot of value that goes into that. Of course. Uh, when you can go to a, to a networking event or to um, an educational seminar and learn about the you know, new laws at the Liquor Commission or upcoming um, regulations for the, you know, who has to be on premise with a, um, mm -hmm. with a certain certificate, you know, different things like that, it's, it's important to know those things. And so being able to go to these uh, tutorials or mixers and networking seminars, those are really, really important. Well, and as you mentioned earlier, Tyler, I mean, you, you've been able to work at 10 different outbacks, mm -hmm. and you were able to pick up best practices sure. in, a, in probably something from every place sure. that you have gone. Um, and so there's a, a tremendous learning opportunity to get out and mix with people Absolutely. that are in the same business, that are doing the same thing, and figure out how they address some of these issues. That's probably my favorite thing about being part of the Hawaii Restaurant Association is uh, getting outside of my four walls and getting out in a, into a, a, a mixer environment, uh, having a cocktail with friends and just talking about best practices. You know, what's working for you? Um, mm -hmm. You know, what can I learn from you? What can you learn from me? And let's take it back to our restaurant and let's be successful together. And I think that's one of the biggest parts about being part of the Hawaii Restaurant Association It's getting outside of your four walls, networking and helping to build your brand, helping to build your business. And I think that we can help you with that. You know, there's there's so many different elements of running a restaurant. There's no way that one person is going to be able to, I guess, be an expert in all these different Absolutely. areas. And so having, I guess, an opportunity mm -hmm. to meet with people and to share ideas and to go to the training and and maybe even specifically seek people out for areas that you need some help Absolutely. with. Absolutely. I mean, that's, uh, you know, being a member, an active member, and just, just joining and paying your dues mm -hmm. isn't going to do it for you. You know, you've got to be actively involved. Absolutely. And I mean, you, you said it perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, you can go out and you can meet other people that are in your same industry, but you can also get an opportunity to meet different vendors. We have uh, mm -hmm. different vendors and suppliers and these are the people that also come to our um, organization uh, events and things like that. So getting a chance to, to talk to people that um, you know, might be able to supply you with uh, something that you've never heard of, seen of uh, before is, uh, is really great. It is. Uh, and and it's, I guess we could talk about this for a while, or maybe it's a subject oh, yeah. for another show you know, at, at some point. We'd but uh, love to come back. I, I think learning more about that organization. Sure. But tell us a little bit about how it's structured. I mean, you've got a board, mm -hmm. yeah, you're the chair, and, and yep. what else goes on? What are the committees and, and that sort of thing? Oh, um, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have um, a board of directors. Um, we have uh, an executive uh, team. Uh, we have an events and fundraising committee. We have a marketing team. We have a social um, social media team. Wow. So you know that right there, I mean, okay, let me ask you yep. this, that if you can disclose it, great. What is the cost to join? Oh, absolutely, uh, and you can find all this information all on the Hawaii Restaurant Association uh, website, um, but it's, for a regular member, um, it's $165, depending on how many employees you have, obviously it tears up from there. Um, if you're an allied member, meaning somebody that supports the, the restaurants, it's $375 for the year. And to be honest, it'll probably be the you know the best hundred sixty five dollars, the best three hundred seventy five dollars you ever spent. Well, and where I was headed was yeah. uh, let's just say it's one sixty five, sure. 
and you're a new restaurant, you're just getting started <laughs> out, you're starting to get some traction, you, sure. you're, you're maybe even getting close to break even. Absolutely. Now all of a sudden you want to be at a hit second gear and you yeah. want to get into the social media side of things. You join as one of these committees, you get on the committee, you're going to learn all kinds of things. It opens up so many different doors. Now, I can't tell you how much I've learned just in the last couple of years of being part of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Um, I wanted to get in and support it. I think I've now got into it to, to learn from it because that's really what I'm doing on a regular basis. So if you join the organization, uh, you, you get in there, you put what, put yourself into it, you can learn a ton. You can make a lot of friends, you can meet a lot of people, learn a lot, and I promise it'll help you be more successful. One of the, the comments that I used to make, uh, I'm a very active member of the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii, and, and I chair the, the Economic uh, Development Committee and the, the Small Business Committee. What I tell members is that if you're not getting value, mm -hmm that is at least two or three times, sure. if not more, sure. than what you're paying in dues. And there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. And you need to go back and re-examine because getting that type of value out of uh, you know membership mm -hmm. is easy to do if it you is. just put your mind to it. Absolutely, yeah. So there's uh, so I'm glad to hear that that's a consistent uh, oh, theme absolutely. that you guys I, would have I, too. I think you get your money's worth tenfold. Uh, yeah. when you join an How often do you guys have events? Um, we actually now have about 12 events a year. Uh, okay. when it, so we're um, uh, a shout out to uh, to Dan Pence uh, from our um, um, events committee. Um, he works for uh, uh, Hawaiian Volcanic Water. Uh, just does a fantastic, fantastic job of supporting the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Mm -hmm. And him and his team just work tirelessly um, putting on these different events throughout the year. Whether it's the mixers, um, whether it's the educational seminars, whether it's the golf tournament coming up in June. Um, um, and where is the golf tournament going to uh, be? Oh, it is out on a golf course. It is out on a golf course, <laughs> and if you give me a second, I'll uh, I'll get it. All right, well, they can call in. We got All right, call it's in also on our website. Yeah. It's on, um, yeah, the Hawaii Restaurant Association. I'm probably going to get a little bit of whack for not knowing but that. But it's a nice golf course, it's, uh, and it's going to have clubs and golf carts. And, <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and probably some adult uh, adult uh, libations as there well. There you I go. And, uh, it's Hawaii Prince. Uh, Hawaii, oh, nice one. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Maybe I'll be in less trouble now. Yeah, Hawaii Prince. Oh, that's a, that's a good course, though. Yes. Um, is that the one that's out on the, out in the Eva? Yeah, yeah, yeah out towards I, I've been yeah. out there. It's, it's yeah. beautiful. And there's not that much water to lose balls in, I don't But think. I'll find it. Yeah, well, okay, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, but you've got, so you've got the, the golf outing, yeah. that's it now. Um, and people could actually go to this and they can actually sponsor Absolutely. holes. You can and, sponsor and a hole, you can uh, have a team that goes out there. And I mean, it's a, it's a full fun day of fun. Um, it's um, it's a couple hours out on the golf course. Obviously, when you have you know 220 golfers that are playing, we have all three um, all three golf courses uh, that are out there. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a, a great day, and it's a, another one of those networking opportunities because there's a big event at the end. There's a dinner at the yeah. event where we give away a bunch of um, prizes and things like that. But again, any opportunity to get FaceTime with uh, with other people is always a win. You know, and from my experience, sometimes it's the reception afterwards Absolutely. that is the most well attended. You'll Absolutely. have people show up that didn't even play golf and they're at that reception. We get quite so, a few of those actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah and so it's a, it's a big event. Mm -hmm. you know, that's something to uh, keep in mind for those people that are out there. Absolutely, we'd, uh, we'd love to have them out there, that's for sure. It's a great, great. event. And so you have networking. Now, mm -hmm. do the networking events rotate around from They, they do. And, um, we, we try to um, look for some of our different members uh, that have restaurants and try go. to ask them and try to get them involved and again it's that that uh, value piece trying to get them some exposure and try to get them uh, you know See, dollars coming in the word. door that's another one of those value add opportunities if you're a member you can sign up to maybe host one of these things and, and, and love really get some visibility absolutely you get 100 200 people coming uh, coming in your doors uh, for an evening that's a, that's a good night you know and if they have a website they take some video mm -hmm. of it they take some pictures through all, it and say sudden, look uh, how busy your, we are your facebook and your instagram <laughs> and then uh, all of a sudden yeah absolutely yeah, everybody well, wins that's great um, so if, if you were a new restaurant mm -hmm. just starting out, sure. or, or say a, you were a, a person starting a new restaurant, okay. and you were trying to get some uh, traction on this thing, um, you've been in a business a long time. Sure. Um, what are some of the, the bits of advice you might offer a new restaurant mm -hmm. owner, some of the things that they should do, maybe some things that they shouldn't do? Join the Hawaii Restaurant Association. All right, I'm that's one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's always we're a good one. We're sticking with that okay. theme. Yeah, we're going with that theme in this segment, <laughs> that, uh, that's for sure. No, I... Um, yeah, if you're just starting out and uh, and you're you're if you're just looking for a concept, if you're really at that ground level, um, it's to me it's finding the right idea first. It's finding the right concept first. It's finding something that maybe nobody else is doing in the industry. It's trying to now, find your niche. Does that mean 
a concept related to food or ambiance? Or? Uh, it could be anything. Um, but you need There's to be able unique. absolutely. You need to be able to uh, to differentiate yourself from uh, from your competitors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, take Outback for example. I mean, we're an Australian themed restaurant, and you know, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't know any more Australian themed restaurants uh, that are out there. And it's it's definitely our, our niche, and it's uh, it's our differentiating factor when it comes to just our identity. Um, so I think starting off in, in the restaurant, you need to find that. You need to find out what is mm -hmm. going to be be that for you. And then it's uh, making sure that the product is sound and making sure, even more importantly, that, uh, that you have the right people. Uh, mm -hmm. And I can't say it enough to anybody that will listen. We are in a people business. We're in a hospitality business, and you've got to get the people right. Um, and if you do that, uh, you're always going to have a fighting chance. Well, and going back, Tyler, to what you mentioned before, there's 6,000 restaurants yeah. in this town or Quite in this state. And there's a lot of options. There are. And people are going to go where they feel most comfortable. Absolutely. You know, and the food <clears throat> needs to be good, mm -hmm. but the people, that interaction, that's, that's what's going to really bring them back. I, I want my restaurant to be considered cheers. Um, yeah, there you you know, go. I want to yeah. see uh, Sam be on the bar and Woody waiting tables. And, you know, I, um, because I think that people gravitate to an environment that they know and they're comfortable with and they, they know the experience that they're going to get. And I think that that's what you get when you come to my restaurant. I think if you had Sam behind a bar and yeah. Woody serving the drinks, it'll be standing room only. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they're watching, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, you certainly seem to know how the, the formula works, and, and you're putting it all together. And I think the fact that you're chair of the Restaurant Association in Hawaii speaks well of your ability to, to be able to do that. Thank you. you know, it's so a lot of fun. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you know, you've done well in a, in a few, you know, I know you've been there for 20 years, but, um, you know, it's amazing. You know, you're one of those young professionals. You should be in some of these magazines as one of these 40, special 40 people. Oh, you're, you're, you're very kind. I, I'm, I'm just lucky. I, um, I, um, I found something that I'm passionate about. I found something that I love to do. Um, and, um, you know, I think when, when you can find something like that, you're always good. And um, we've got about less than a minute to sure. go. Sure. And, would it be fair to say that I, I know you've got a great team out mm -hmm. there, but are you always looking for good people? Oh, and yeah. There's always opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely. I, um, if you're looking for an opportunity, uh, knock on my door, um, give me a ring um, because I'd love to meet you. you know, Very good. Always looking for uh, for the next superstar to join my team and uh, help me continue to grow my business uh, and, and to continue to support. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, you heard it here, folks. You know, Outback Steakhouse uh, in Waikai is hiring. They're looking always, for good people. Always looking for uh, for great people. Very good. Well, thank you for being on the show today. Gotcha. We're, we're going to wrap much. up. But, I really appreciate your time. Uh, this is uh, Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. Uh, we highlight successful individuals and their businesses uh, in Hawaii. Uh, there are challenges, but there are special people who have made it work, and Tyler was one of them. So until next week, uh, aloha.